adding a little bit of vibrato to your singing can really make your song sound polished and professional. However, vibrato is one of those techniques that can easily go from being something that adds to your singing to something that distracts from it. In other words, it becomes a bad singing habit. So today I have the top three vibrato mistakes to avoid that you can follow to make sure that your vibrato sounds really good. Vibrato mistake number one is adding too much vibrato and putting it everywhere. And it is really one of those things that can seep into sort of every single part of your singing and it just muddies it up and it doesn't sound as good. I'll give you an example. La, da, da. As opposed to la, da, 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 da. Ah. See how the vibrato adds to the end? I only put a little bit on rather than throughout the entire thing. Remember that vibrato was originally used back in the day when classical singers would have to hold long notes, like one note for a long period of time. It's actually easier to hold that note if you put a bit of vibrato on it. And it's also nicer for the ear, for the listener, to hear a note that's wavering slightly rather than a straight long note that's been held for ages. Which is why, you know, vibrato sort of came about. And nowadays it is more of a stylistic thing. It is a bit more of a personal preference thing. But yeah, just make sure that when you're using your vibrato, you're using it strategically and putting it in spots to add to the music rather than letting it just become a bad vocal habit and putting it everywhere. Vibrato mistake number two is forcing your air out in order to obtain vibrato. So singers that do this will sound like this. Ah, so I'm pushing out the air in order to get this kind of wavery type of vibrato. Now the problem with this is, is that your vibrato is essentially a breathing technique. <clears throat> so it, it all comes down to having really good breath support and airflow as you use that breath. Um, and if you've got those two things going on, then your vibrato and you have no tension in your throat, then you, you should be able to get vibrato. But um, <clears throat> a lot of people find that they just, they haven't quite gained control over their breath yet. And so they're pushing their air out in order to obtain vibrato. And it makes it sound too fast or bleaty. So you can kind of get this ah, kind of sound, which is more of a tremolo than a vibrato. And it's a breathing problem. So if you're finding that that's happening to you, go back and do some work on your breathing and exhaling to support your notes. So your airflow and your vibrato should improve. And the third vibrato mistake is putting way too much volume on at the start of your notes and then the volume peter out, peters out really quickly, um, like this. La, 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 la. So obviously I was like over exaggerating that so you guys could hear. But you see what I mean by a lot of volume at the start of the notes and then they kind of peter out. And what it does is it makes your your notes sound like they have really bad technique. So you, rather than it just being the, the vibrato that's naturally decreasing in volume, it sounds like you're kind of, you've got these big kind of waves in, in your singing. So loud and then soft, loud and then soft. And it kind of sounds like someone's turning the volume knob up and then down, up and then down. It doesn't produce a nice effect. What you want to try and do with your vibrato instead is have it come out gradually and support your note for the entire length of the vibrato, like this. La, 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 la. So I'm just bringing the vibrato la, on the end and I'm keeping my breath support up right through the end of the note. I'm not going la, and kind of dropping the volume off. I'm keeping the volume and my breath support going la, and letting the vibrato naturally kind of waver the, the note to a stop rather than decreasing my volume. Of course, vibrato is a personal preference kind of thing uh, nowadays rather than a strict 
singing technique, but I'm hoping that these three mistakes, rules, whatever you want to call them, kind of give you an idea of, of how to use vibrato to get that professional polished sort of sound. Thanks so much for watching and if you would like some free vocal warm-ups head on over to singersecret.com where you can download them there. I've got videos and downloadable sing-along tracks in both male and female ranges. I'll put a link to it in the description below and please um, like, comment, subscribe and you know leave me a comment if you want me to do a video on something in the future. Um, it could be singing, songwriting or stagecraft. So any of those three uh, I'd love to hear from you. So yeah, thanks guys. Talk to you later. See you next time. <laughs>